Hello, Bidgets. My name is Ginger Fred today. And if this looks familiar to you, yes, I'm finally home. I am free from roommates, finals, the New York City subway. I get to shower without having to wear a pair of shower shoes. I can confidently walk around in my underwear and I get to enjoy this pleasure for about a month and a half. Now, for those of you who are living under a rock, I am a diehard SpongeBob fan. I've seen every episode at least once, not including the new ones because they don't count. I can say the dialogue of certain episodes just because I've watched them so many times. SpongeBob is my childhood. I didn't watch Disney, I only watched this small yellow character which but a few days ago I saw this youtuber I only know her first name Casey but this is her channel sometimes she tries to draw a whole generation of Pokemon by memory but today I want to see how accurately I can redraw Spongebob characters because there's this Twitter post of every character that's ever been on Spongebob and I can't draw all of them I'm gonna draw maybe 10 of them I have no references I swear to god I'm not cheating or I guess I should say I swear to the devil because I'm going to hell Obviously. I'm gonna draw everything on my iPad because I realized Procreate can record your drawing, which eliminates the need of my camera, thank God. And we're gonna see how much I fail because I don't see myself succeeding. I'm gonna be in my room drawing until the sun sets. So now we're just gonna cut to voiceover Frederick. All right, I'm not really used to this, but hello, voiceover Frederick here. Um, let's get started with our sketch. So first thing I did was do a little rectangular prism because that is what SpongeBob is. He's a square-ish character. And then I drew the mouth, nose, and eyes, which trust me, the eyes look demonic. Don't remind me. I try to get this like wavy texture that he has. I don't really know how to explain it. Obviously it's not just straight lines. Um, I don't really know how it works in 3D, but I tried to do that. I added his little holes and redid the eyes so they don't look demonic anymore. And I knew his his body had a tie, he wears a white shirt, and then he has like pants that are brown. As for the legs, right now they're very short. And then the arms, I just drew like random stubs because I didn't know where they really went. It was either on his shirt or actually like on his body, but I chose on the shirt. And now this is the part of me like actually drawing his body. I got that yellow outline done and I just like, you can't see it right now, but it's there. And I just turned it off for a little bit. I wanted to see how the eyes looked over it. And I realized that these eyes look creepy as hell. I can't can't tell if he's actually normal looking yet because you need every single body part. Then I want to do the teeth. It took me so long to realize that like he just has two buck teeth. I don't know why it took me so long. Then after that was done, I knew we needed eyelashes, but these eyelashes looked so weird for some reason. And I don't know why, like it's just for the longest time I was staring at it. And then you can see me erasing it because I realized like, oh, Frederick, that he has square eyelashes. They're not rounded. This is all the little like holes that SpongeBob has. And I remember that episode when like SpongeBob deletes all his holes. He wasn't normal looking. I don't know, just gave me a memory. Honestly, I watched so many episodes, like I just know so much information about SpongeBob that I don't need to know. And I know we're straying away from the video, but this is just a tangent. If you see what I'm doing right now, this is back to the video. I'm trying to add shadow and I completely gave up because I was like, I don't know how to do shadows on Procreate. Well, I do, but I just, it was too late to do it. Uh, his pants, I knew he had some like black lines for some reason. I, I think it's a belt that he has. I didn't know where to put it. And I knew he had a red tie, so I just guessed where they would be. And as for the legs, legs aren't... I don't really know what to do with the legs. I, I don't know what they look like in real life, but I know they're really short. And as for his socks, I knew they had like a red and blue line on them. Just, I'm pretty sure they mentioned it one time in one episode. I didn't know which one was on top, so I just guessed. This is me trying to figure out where his arms should be because Jesus Christ, like I knew we're wrong. They didn't look right at all, but at that point I gave up. I added a background to it because I thought maybe he should look like in his natural state. So this is me trying to do the flower background. And that's it. So now we're gonna go to Squidward's drawing. So Squidward has an oval shape. I know that much. And then I knew his legs were like four pairs or maybe six. I, I knew it was an octopus. And I was like, I swear an octopus has eight legs, obviously. So Squidward must have eight because I know everyone was like, oh, he's not actually a squid. He's actually an octopus. So I was gonna put six legs and I find out that I'm wrong in the end. His arms, I wanted him to like, I don't know how to call it. Like he's like, holding his hips, but you can't really hold your hips as a squid. So he just like puts them like that because I, I don't know, I just knew that was a pose he did. And his face, honestly, it looked really weird at first because I was like, his mouth is way too small. And then I drew the mouth way too big. So I was like, I don't know how it should actually look. I'll just figure it out in the end. Um, I did give him a unibrow for the sake of looking like Squillium, but I knew he wouldn't have one in the end. As for the body, I knew he had a brown shirt. I didn't know how far the brown shirt went. So I just thought it was like right 
below his belly button. That's normally how shirts end. And the only reason I did this was because I knew Squidward has like purple suction cups from the Bold and Brash video I did a long time ago. So I just wanted to add like some little suction cups on the end. I didn't want to do it to the feet because I got too tired. Now going to the face, I knew his eyes weren't white. They were like an off-white, so light yellow. And I knew his eyes, I don't know why, but like as a kid, it always freaked me out that Squidward had rectangle pupils instead of circles. Because I was like, why do you look so different? So I got that part done. And he looked normal at first, but then I was like, why doesn't he look depressed? Why? <laughs> Honestly, like why isn't he as sad as he normally is? And I realized that he actually has eyelids and that's why he always looks like dazed and doesn't want to be there. Because he's like the relatable character is always sad and upset. So I added that in. He still looked off a little bit and I know it was because like maybe I missed one eyebrow or some random detail that makes him look more sad and upset. I don't remember them. I Maybe it was an eyebrow. But then I was like, Squilliam is the one with the eyebrow, so Squidward should be the one without, or like maybe a little bit, because he has facial expressions using those three Wi-Fi bars on his head. And then I added some dots to his body because I was like, he looks way too plain, and there's no way that he's just smooth skin all around. And so far, I feel like I'm doing great because I can actually tell what these characters are. And I thought I would fail more, but I think this just shows how addicted I am to Spongebob and how much is embedded in my mind. But anyway, let's go to the next character so for Patrick I didn't want to do the regular picture of him like that you always see on Google where he's just waving with his hand I want to do the one where it was in the Spongebob original movie because that's the only movie that is true to the actual Spongebob franchise and I hate every other movie I'm getting ahead of myself I want to do the part where like they used to be men and then that guy takes away their mustaches and he's like left sitting on the ground just wide mouth and one problem I ran into like for a while was how to put his pants sitting down because I know he's fat, like, let's not lie. And I try to think, like, what does someone with a fat belly do with their pants? Do the pants go over the belly or under? So I chose under, thinking that, you know, he would just have a beer belly. And I wanted his belly button to show, because I was like, everyone remembers Patrick's belly button. And then I started drawing his eyes, and once again, the eyes just looked so scary. Like, the more you outline them, the more they start looking like a Tim Burton character. But once I started tracing, you're gonna notice that I always outline the characters in black, and then I change them to, like, a darker pink, because I wanted it to not look as harsh but then I realized now that every Spongebob character has black outlines somewhere and it's just that's how they are so they're off a little bit but once I drew the eyes I played around with the pupil size and then I just realized it had to be like miniature dots like almost to the point where you can't see them and then I drew his mouth and you're gonna notice that I added that shadow because I wanted him to like have that you know, gaping mouth. It actually reminds me of the Alaskan bullworm. Maybe we'll draw that next time. Once again, I don't know what is up with these pants. Like they they didn't look right to me. For some reason he looked skinny and I didn't know how to fix it. And then I added the purple flowers because it's iconic to his outfit, but I knew they weren't like the correct shape. And it was at this point where I thought, hmm, maybe I should put them in their natural habitat. So like in the two previous pictures, you see that the background is already there, but here's the one where I actually drew it. I mean, like the flowers looked okay and you can tell what it's supposed to be. But yeah, that is three of the five characters done. All right, Plankton is next. And first things first, he is a very easy character to draw. He's only one shape, which is just an oval or a chocolate eclair, if you remember that episode. Honestly, this whole video is just me reflecting on 2019 and like the 2010s as a whole, because that was like the time I watched SpongeBob a lot. The last time I watched it was maybe last summer because I haven't had time to do it since, you know, senior year and then freshman year of college. Okay, I'm getting off track again. When I first sketched him out, I first wanted him to point at himself like with his thumb, saying, I'm all this like look at me and then I realized he didn't have any fingers in the episode So I didn't know how he managed to point at himself in hindsight I think they just drew him with a stub and then a smaller stub So once I drew the body I did the antenna or antennae and that was pretty easy I mean, it's just two strokes and then a bunch of little strokes in between and as for his eye I was so proud of this because I was like I definitely nailed it Obviously, it's easier because it's one eye But then like you notice that shine that I added to his eye like you can see that it has depth and I made it all fancy looking and stuff I can't draw that well, guys, by the way. So if anyone is like expecting me to be a procreate master, you're, you're out of luck. I'm still new to it. I'm literally practicing every day, though. The hardest part was his mouth. I don't know why. I drew teeth at first like you see uh, you can see it right there there's proof but then i just forgot to add it in and that's probably why it looks so weird because i want him to be like laughing maniacally like how he always does when he tries to get this crabby patty secret formula then i drew his little arms and legs because he's literally an oval with four sticks and on to the last character doodle bob so doodle bob is supposed to be an easier character for me to draw i i was hoping because he's literally drawn up by hand so i first did a rectangle obviously then i drew his hands because i knew they were just lines and then his feet which were just lines and then the eyes i don't know why but like 
they don't look right to me because I knew he didn't have pupils. I just didn't know how big the eyes should have been. I knew he had eyelashes too, like similar to SpongeBob. And then his mouth was like gaping instead of being a smile because he was never happy. He kind of lives a sad life. This is like the worst of all of them, I think. But to be fair, he was in only one episode, so I don't want to hear shit. Once I drew his nose though, I was like, okay, something is definitely off because he didn't have SpongeBob's nose. And then I drew a triangle and then I realized like it's probably just a circle. I added like little cheek dots to him because spongebob has those two and then i gave him his suit and tie kind of realizing he looks like a tree because i'm thinking like in that episode where he's just throwing the pencil he has to hold it and you don't hold it with those whatever i'm allowed to make mistakes okay so the sun has set officially after like four hours of drawing i finished five of them i think i said i would do ten earlier in this video which part two maybe if you guys want it and i'll just say while drawing i surprised myself at how much i could remember and for anyone who thinks frederick you're cheating you probably had a picture of him next to you while drawing there's no benefit in me doing that like if i wanted to lie i would have drawn worse for the sake of the thumbnail and for entertainment. But this is genuinely how much I know of SpongeBob in my mind. You don't have to believe me if you don't want to. But I wanted to compare my drawing to the actual characters. So if you don't mind me, I'm just going to open up my laptop and we're going to compare. We're gonna start off with SpongeBob, which I already know it's not that accurate. Actually, I didn't do that bad. What I forgot to add to this drawing was his collar, an outline for the tie. I don't know why I remember the fact that he had those lines. I don't know who has those lines in real life. Is that supposed to be a belt? I don't really know. But what I did forget to add in was the ends of his pants. It's literally in his name, SpongeBob SquarePants. Should have been able to know that. Also, his legs are so stubby now. So proportions aren't amazing. Honestly, I'm not going to talk about whether or not the outline should have been dark yellow or black. I don't really care about that. His socks are right. I did get blue and then red. His cheeks are red. That makes sense. There's a weird thing underneath his chin. His eyes should be higher up. His pupils should be smaller. No, his iris should be smaller. No. I already forgot biology. The blue part should be smaller. And his arms are definitely not that low. Yep. Other than that though, I feel pretty good. Um, background wise, that is not accurate at all. All right, I'm pretty content with that. Let's go to the next one. Ooh, that's a little, hmm. I probably said this in the voiceover, but drawing his pants was so hard because I didn't know whether or not his belly was going to be over his shorts. I totally forgot the fact that he has a uvula. Uh, his head should be a little bit pointier. His eyes should be lower. Each of them have a chin. The flowers are eh. I'm not that mad about it though. You could tell it's him. Okay, the third person I drew was Plankton. Now, I'm already going to say it. His mouth is not right. Oh my god! I forgot to draw the teeth. Damn it. I remembered he had teeth too. Like, I specifically remember drawing in teeth at some point. So his eye is like much more bushy. God damn it. I could have had an A for this. Uh, he does have fists. So I should probably add that in. His ears, or I don't even know what to call those. They only have four lines instead of one, two, three, four, five, ten that I drew. Still pretty accurate. Uh, he shouldn't be that dark though. He's a little bit tan. Next up is Squidward. I'm gonna say his mouth and his Eyebrow aren't right from my picture. He should be outlined in black. And he doesn't have spots all over him. It's only his forehead. His shirt has a collar and his shirt is also shorter. It's not that long. Does he really only have four feet? Are you kidding? I thought Squidward was an octopus and that's why he had eight legs and his mouth is a little too big. Other than that, pretty good though. And finally, Doodle Bob, which I did in like five minutes. Yeah, mm hmm. Okay, I've got you. Yep. <laughs> That's not right at all. His eyes are okay, his mouth is okay. I got the nose right, and his arms are not right in any shape or form. Other than that, I think I did pretty well. If I was a professor, I'd give myself an A minus, B plus. Like, you know when they give you that stupid rubric and on a one to five scale, you reach all fours. And the description of four is like, completed, task efficiently, minor mistakes, but to get a five, you have to be exceeded teacher's expectations, something like that. Whatever, the point is I passed. But that is it. So if you guys want more, let me know. If you guys enjoyed, give it a like, leave a comment down below, or subscribe for more videos every Saturday. Merry Chris Wanaka. You know what, just, no, just happy holidays, I don't know. And before we end, I'm gonna read a coming out story because your boy keeps forgetting and I'm terribly sorry. As always, I keep these anonymous for the sake of the person's privacy, but I do these to inspire you to come out. So my story is short and not actually bad. Also, I'm not a lesbian, but I am bi. 
It was my sophomore year of high school and I made a friend that year and she was super sweet. It was almost homecoming and I realized I was kind of falling for her. And then I realized I like girls as well as guys. So I went home, confronted my mom and said, mom, I think I'm bi. And she said, oh, oh, I know, sweetie. Your dad and I have always known you were gonna kiss a girl. So it was funny and actually a relief. Because I have friends whose parents don't accept them, I'm really glad mine did. My brother does not like it, but he's not against it. Thank you for your submission even though this was two weeks ago. <laughs> and as always, I love you guys and everything is less than three. Also, keep your eye out for next week's video because it's a little bit special. I'm not gonna say what it is. Goodbye.